Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. Been a couple days since I've been able to paint, and so I've been itching to get back to it. And I wanted to try some more earthy, uh, neutral tones. So what I have today mixed up. I'm going to do, I'm going to try a couple new things. I'm going to try this new, I've seen Julie Cuts pouring your heart out to use some kind of tool. I don't know if it's this one, but some kind of like a hot air blower, but this has a cool setting to try and do the blooms. I'm not very good at my blooms, so I've been using a hair dryer, which is very forceful, so I thought I'd try this today. This is um, a Revlon, let's see. It is the perfect style, perfect heat, perfect style, uh, three times ceramic and ionic hot air kit. It was 20 bucks, so I thought, ah, I'll give it a try. I don't know. I've never tried it before. I'm completely experimenting on you. So I thought maybe we'd try that. I know Julie, I think, puts like um, a medicine cup, like something like this, that she's cut out the end on the end of it. To more focus it. I'm just going to try for the first time like this and see what we get and then we'll adapt from there because that's part of the experimentation process, right? So I have a 12 by 12. I thought I'd try and use this new tool to blow it out and then spin it. Um, the earth tones, kind of what I, I love a nice good olive green, so I wanted to get that in with whatever else I came up with, so I'm using mostly Joe Sonia's, but I have one thrown in for good measure. I have an Indian yellow, which is a transparent color, and then I have the Joe Sonia Burnt Umber, which is opaque, and, um, I wanted to... Just give a little bit of a metallic shimmer to that. So I have the Color Art Primary Elements color nutmeg that I've put a little bit of that in there with it, with the burnt umber. Then I just have some burnt sienna, which is also an opaque. Um, but that's got that kind of a coppery color without the coppery shimmer. So I've got a little shimmer in this one. No shimmer, no shimmer. Then I have the Rich Gold which is a semi-transparent by Joe Sonia. And then I have this golden fluid acrylic, which is green gold. And that was a little bit lighter than I wanted, a little more um, or, uh, yellow green. And I wanted more of this kind of a rich olive green, so I added some of the color arts. It's, it's called olive vine. So the primary elements, olive vine, I added a little bit of that to this um, green gold by Golden Fluid, and it got just the color exactly what I wanted. Kind of still earthy, not too bright, not too yellow, not too blue. I like that color a lot. That's probably one of my favorite, just not painting colors, but I love greens and purples, and just as a general rule, those would probably be my favorites, although teals are creeping up there. So those are my colors. And I have some, and this is the order I'm gonna lay them down in, I think. I want the yellow on the bottom for some bright, poking through next to the brown, um, the burnt sienna, and then some gold next to the, to the um, green here. So I'm gonna lay them in order here. So I don't forget my order. And I have some white cell activator that I mixed up now probably three or four days ago. So I don't even like to use it once it's that old. But also, I'm nearing the end of my Aussie Floetrol and I don't want to waste it. I mixed up more than I needed. So I'm going to try and use some of that. The consistency for all these, it's a little thick. I like my paints a little thicker. My cell activator a little thinner. At least for the swipes, that's what I've been doing for the swipes, and I haven't done one of these blooms in a while. But I'll try and show you. So it's going to drizzle off the stick. It's going to flow real nice, but create a mound, and then before it sinks. It's not super thick, but it is a little thick. So let's just stir this up a little, and then I think you can see better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> my light. Uh-oh. There we go. Good grief. So, sorry about that. Always something, isn't it? Um, so, it's going to flow off and leave a mound. And I don't know if you can see that. Okay, if I'm high enough out of the way. You can see that, but it definitely, it flows off plenty fine. But it definitely leaves a mound and then sinks. And that's the consistency pretty much of all of them. I think the thinnest one is the green because that was that fluid. And it's still pretty close to that. Okay, so they're about the same consistency. For my pillow, it's just the Sherwin Williams color to go. Um, color snap. It's just a satin um, sample paint, and I love it as a pillow. It's nice and thick. It doesn't go out. It tilts real slow, and I kind of like that. I like to pour kind of a lot of pillow, so my paints glide, and I like um, to try and not, I, I love it when people get good petals out of the Sheely art style, but I've never been good at that. So I pour extra paint down and just try and have the color go everywhere because <laughs> I'm not going to get a good bloom. Oh my goodness, I've got a hole in my glove. I'm off, I'm just off to a good start. My cell activator is the Australian Floetrol mixed with the Amsterdam Titanium White and a three to one mixture. So it's pretty thin. It's a lot thinner than that. It drops straight down. All right, and I'm gonna get this out of the way. So what I have here is a 12 by 12 canvas, and then um, I just have a regular Lazy Susan. And if I just put it on here and tried to spin it, it would fly off. So I have a couple of old four by four tiles that I didn't like, and I just put some um, painter's tape now and secured them so that when I lay this down inside the little frame here, and I just kind of put it down in there, it holds it in place. I can spin it as fast as I want, and it's not gonna fly off. That was my little hack for that. So, um, yeah, let's give it a go. Um, and let's make sure, our, am I in frame? I mean, I guess I can move over a little bit this way. Okay. So I pour kind of a lot of a pillow, and I'm just going to kind of start in the middle, and I like to get it about two inches from the edge. Just so that it splooges over. It moves real easy. So I guess that's not quite two inches, is it? That's more like two inches but I got a little close there. I poured a little uneven, I guess. So let's start putting our colors down. So I'm gonna do my the Indian yellow first. And I probably put down a lot more paint than other people do. Because again, I'm not trying to make those petals in a bloom necessarily, I'm more about trying to get that color to go all over. <clears throat> so I put probably more paint than what a lot of people, people do to get those beautiful blooms. I love them, but I just don't seem to be capable. So I'm working within what my <laughs> limitations are. Pour it right in the middle and it's going to spread that yellow out a little bit. Now I'm going to pour the sepia in the middle of the brown and it's going to spread that out. So this is just your basic puddle pour. And again, these paints are a little thick. They create a little mound before dropping down. Now let's get the gold in there. I mean, I'm really not too worried about air bubbles right now, but because I'm going to use my little machine, but I might as well pop a big one if I see it, which is what I just did with my little bamboo skewer. Got some gold here. Okay. 
And now my beautiful, beautiful green, which I love. <laughs> Probably my favorite color of all of these down here is this beautiful green. I thought it might play nice with the white, but I'm going to put a little extra of that because I like it so much. All right. So you can see I've been pretty generous with the paints here, and I'm going to be pretty generous with my cell activator. About the same amount of the green that I poured out, right? Maybe a smidge. Okay. And now let's just give it a go. I don't know how this little, I've never tried this little tool before, but let's give it a go. I may end up getting my blow dryer out, but I'm going to go kind of straight down and loosen up that white. I mean, I got, it's a decent shape. My blow dryer definitely goes and creates these big streaky things. So um, that's kind of fun. It's kind of a little more equal. Um, I wasn't getting enough of the other colors. I just was getting the green. So I went straight down and then kind of pushed out here on this last little section. So I definitely got some more of the burnt umber. I don't see any of the yellow anywhere, really a tiny bit here. So I might not have gone deep enough down. I might've just skimmed across it. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Let's see. But it definitely, <laughs> it didn't blow real deep, which means I can spin it right away. I'm not having to wait for that um, puddle to come out and form back underneath it, the pillow. It's pretty much ready to go. So let's see. Start kind of slow. Uh, let's, let's tilt this a little bit this way since it seems to automatically be over there. Tilt it a little bit over here. And then just set it back down and maybe a little bit this way too, right? Because I'm really close to the edge there, but not here. I want to tilt really slow if I can right now because I don't want to try and change the shape of the cells too much. I want the centrifugal force of the Lazy Susan to do that. Okay, let's try it now. Woo! Uh-oh. My tile must have broken up and not... Or must have left... I usually use double foam, double stick foam tape, and I just use painter's tape, but I think it's not holding as well as my double stick foam tape. Let me just hold this a little bit. It's definitely moving where, um, with my double stick, it doesn't. So that was new, and it's not working as well. I'll tell you that right now. Giving it a little resistance, but it's not keeping it from sliding off. Oh, all right, let me just try and tilt now. Let's go this way. Oh, it's such a shame because I really, really like these <laughs> colors and formations. I don't want to tilt if I don't have to. I'm getting close. Let me see, let me see, let me see. 
Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I don't even know how this is. If this is lining up on screen anymore. I do like these colors, though. I'm getting really, really close now. I'm really close to the, getting it all the way off the edges, so. I <laughs> just flung paint in my room. Fantastic. It was off my glove, not off this. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm going to call it a day there. I like those colors. I like the green with the uh, burnt umber and the gold and the sepia. I didn't get much of the yellow at all, which is a little disappointing. It's barely paying, playing peekaboo. And I don't think any more spinning will change that. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I love the browns and the greens together. I should just stop. I'm going to stop. Because <laughs> even though I didn't get the yellow, I like the other colors. So I'm going to take off my gloves. And even though my cell activator is... Three, four days old. It worked pretty well. Oh, I love the gold shimmer in there. The gold is nice. I'm just wiping my hands. Sorry, off camera, but... Okay. Let's bring you in for a little bit closer. Look, it's pretty nice. And I think I need to move my light now. Okay. So let me move my light so you don't have such a glare. Here we go. It's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I like the colors. I don't know. I might try and layer the yellow a little differently. I had a tiny bit of yellow poking through, but not much at all, which I think would just brighten things up a little, but it's pretty neat, guys. I like it. I like those colors, though. Tiny bit of yellow here, but not much. But some really great webbing, really fine here, and actually some really thick stuff that I wouldn't normally like, but I do like how it kind of created this kind of crescent shape, so I don't know. I'm okay with it overall. The middle looks pretty cool. So I got the white pillow poked through in some places, which actually looks okay. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you like these colors? I think the tool I would use again. I don't even think, um, maybe I'll put a medicine cup on the end and see the difference between the type if I get a better control, but I think it blew out pretty good because I'm not good at blowing blooms. So I'm going to say that I think that this little Revlon tool for 20 bucks, it has a nice little cool setting. Oops, can you see that? It has a cool setting and that's what I blew it on, which is still a high um, blow, but a cool setting, so it's not hot. I think it worked pretty well. I'm gonna keep trying that maybe now instead of the blow dryer and we'll see how that goes, but I'm pretty happy with this one. Nice little experiment. And uh, let me know what you think. I hope you like this video and you subscribe to my channel and uh, hope these earthy tones make you happy. They make me happy. <laughs> but until we meet again or we pour together again or you watch me again, have fun painting everyone. Bye-bye.